So we left off on Chafbeis, Chafbeis in the Maral. The we first left off the first paragraph, right column, first column, where he said, when a person understands the value of Yerushalayim, being a Yori Shemayim doesn't mean to say you have an added feature that's basic to the what to the profile of what a Jew is. A Jew without your Shemayim, it's not he's a special Jew. He's a deficient Jew. Right? It's like he, he gave the example. You have bread to eat, you're not considered a wealthy man. But if you don't have bread, which is the staple, then, then, then you, 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 you're going to be, uh, you're not going to be uh, nourished. So once you have it, it's Marshall El Kech Shom Imach. To acquire it is very difficult. But if you understand its value, it's value, it's Marshall El Kech Shom Imach. What is he asking? He just wants you to be what, what, what you're supposed to be. You have to be a Jew is not a simple thing. The full, the full nine yards. It's not, not easy. But if you understand the value of that, you understand you're not a Jew unless you do what you're supposed to do. You may be a Jew by birth, but in terms of as a person of even minimal standing, you're not a person even of minimal standing. I'll give you an example. A person uh, uh, is illiterate. Can't write, can't read, anything. Can, can add numbers. Because they took him out of a cave when he was 35 years old. Now it's a ma monumental task for it to start at this age to, to, to know that. What is he? And you have a child who was educated from, from the time he was born till, till mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. right. it's, it's worlds apart. So you compare the two people one to another. What is the other person? Could you compare him? Well, he, he's, sp he's special because he could read and write. What you, that, that's, that's just a f normal functioning person in society. It's not something special. The other person at that age... It's a monumental task to, to learn all that. Even though we're talking about elementary mm -hmm. knowledge, just basic knowledge. Right? It's only because we're in that his station in life, it's like overwhelming. But if you understand how crucial, integral it is to your being, you understand you're deficient if you don't have it. It's not you're chosid like a tzaddik. Chosid is beyond the tzaddik. This is just basic. This is basic. Okay? Vo tovin min advor he says, and you will understand, based on what we explained before, it's very important. We said that what is Yerushalayim, what is it rooted in? Understanding where you come from, why you exist. What is the causality? What is causality? Hashem, Hashem causes everything. So the more you understand that linkage, the more you, the more you negate it. That that you're able to lift your hand why are you able to lift your hand? Well, you say because you know there's the brain gives the message. This, that. yeah, but why? What about a person, God forbid, has a stroke, right? There's, there's, there's a problem. The message is not coming through. So why does the person able or not able? Because God wills whether the, the brain functions as it should function, shouldn't function. But because it's so natural, so normal, we don't make that linkage. Understand? This this is what it is. It's like you know, Rabbi Yisrael says. What's closest is the furthest. What's the, what's the distance between the brain and the heart? How far? What, in the physical distance. But it's further than from, from, from the moon to the earth. Rabbi Sol Salantar. Understand? To be able to, to coalesce the two, to what we understand and to internalize it, it's, it's a lifetime's work. But if you get it, there's no problem. Then you understand, what am I? Mm -hmm. And I, as I said the other day, and the more you understand it, the more empowered you are. The more empowered you are. Because then you understand, it's not you, it's Hashem. If it's Hashem's behind you, there's nothing you can't do. Anything, as long as it's for Him, He'll be there with you to assist you, to, to succeed in what you're doing. And when you fail, if you meant to succeed, that means He didn't want you should succeed. It's not your failing. So it's not you failed. It's not you failed. It's Hashem didn't want it to be. Like somebody once asked me when, years ago, I went to, went to see someone, and if I'd be able to impress upon this person to be have a, a slight degree of belief would be a phenomenal accomplishment. So the people said, so what do you think? What do you think after I met with him for about two and a half hours? So he said, uh, they said I said, look, the truth is, firstly, he has to have his chus. He has to have his chus to affect him. 
And I have to have the schus that I'm able to affect him. So we both need a schus. No? That's it. So that's the, sh- that's the question. If Hashem wants it, that he has a schus and I have a schus, then it will make a difference. Because what I told him, it should affect him, but it's more than what I told him. It's, you know, how you process it. You know, to what degree are you receptive to it? How does it resonate within the person? That's all siyat de So if you understand, that's all siyat de So is it the person? Some people believe, some people don't believe. Why? Baruch Hashem, you know, we married a siyat Why? We had schosovus, right? Like we say, anybody who says the reason why he's observant is because he gets it, which other people don't. It's arrogance. What, you're the smartest guy in the world? You know, how many Jews are out there pretty smart, and they should get it, and they don't get it? So why do we get it, and don't they get it? Answers: We have schusovos. We have schusovos. If you have a tidal wave, a tsunami, a spiritual tsunami pulling you out, who knows where, and you're able to survive it, it's mirac- how do you survive it? Even w- what's going on today in the world, the answer is Hashem is watching over you. Siyata dishmaya. Without the siyata dishmaya, impossible to survive spiritually. Not possible. That's the reality. Well, well the, the, the consequence of that judgment is that. The Hashem evaluates existence to what degree should the causality be. More or less, of course. Of course. What is the opinion that you judge can be second? But it doesn't make it's, but it's, it's always causal. Let's say you judge once a year. I'll give you an example. You have your allocation at the beginning of the year. How much money are you making? But Hashem doesn't... Wait, but no, no. Hashem doesn't give it to you on the spot. He doles it out over the year. So the same thing. Every moment Hashem wills existence. Even if the judgment was, let's say, Yom Kippur or Shoshana, but the willing every moment, that causality is due to the original judgment. So whether the judgment is continuous or not continuous has nothing to do with the causality. It's the way Hashem is doling it out. He's willing every moment existence. Let's see the halacha. It's based on psukim. It's based on psukim. No, it makes no difference. It assert, it's, it's better to be judged every moment. If, if, it, if it was a negative judgment, it could all be overturned. And because that's Tosa's question. According to the opinion that you're not judged every day, so what do we pray for the sick? <laughs> if a person is meant to be sick, he's sick. It's, it's over. That's Tosa's question. It's Tosa, either it's going to to Mavi Omer that we, we judge every day, or that the Shchus HaTzibur can make a difference. Normally, it can't be changed. But if there's a monumental force, which is Shchus HaTzibur, that could change it. I was wondering if uh, the Mishnah says that our stands on the Torah God of the Mishnah Southern, but isn't in reality those three standing on your Shema? No, 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 which means a Jew has to do those three, but we'll determine whether you're going to do those three or not, factually. Right? Someone could do those three and not have your Shema. And they're, they're on the surface, they're doing it. You're right. The world can stand on those things. It's not Torah. Without your Shema, it's not Torah. Person doesn't have Yerushalayim. He doesn't keep mitzvahs. It's, it's not Torah. It's intellectualism. Okay.